today we had Side by Side come for a celebration of learning for our second grade. Um, side by Side works with every single grade level here, K through five, so we have six uh, units here at our school. And today second grade got to um, celebrate with Dr. Sneedlebaum, who came from Papua New Guinea, to work with our kids uh, to create landforms so that they could study how landforms are impacted by global warming and climate change. Side by Side works with um, you know, schools to bring art into just the classroom. It's not separate in the art classroom. It's right in with the teaching artists that are working with the elementary teachers in their classroom. So they're part of it too. The project is called Landforms, Earth Changes. So we had to find a project where the children felt that they were collaborating with us as artists. Not where we were coming in and telling to the project, but where together we are creating, um, we have a common mission. Because I believe when you share common mission with children, when they take something seriously, they'll really go beyond. So we had to combine math, with the data for measuring our landforms. We had to, I do movement, so we learned body, you know, dance and theater. And I'm a sculptor, so they worked with me to sculpt the landforms. And they worked with my friend Jamie to draw the landforms. So it's all encompassing. And throughout the, and through the letter exchanges, we talk about um, geography and the world and about science. So, so the letters and a lot of the interaction makes, we really could build in a lot of the other, um, topics we need to touch. The first thing we saw happen was a slideshow. And the slideshow took, um, took us through the journey of getting our letters from Professor Sneedlebaum, who was um, studying in Papua New Guinea, and then did, was doing some field research in Turkey. And he had a, a, like a seven week correspondence um, with our students. So we, we got these letters, and he kept asking questions about landforms. And so that drove the students to do some research on their landforms that they were assigned. Um, and then so, so, part, so that was the first part of the slideshow. And then we got to see the landforms come to life, first through drawing, and then through making them with paper mache. I thought that the presentation today was absolutely um, magnificent in many ways. I thought the use of art in any form of scientific study is a sensory. And what we've seen today, uh, the approach of dancing, the approach of music, the intercommunication, and uh, linked to a scientific study of landform, uh, which is directly linked also to mathematics. Uh, you use mathematics in everything that they've done. The scale, the 3D modeling, and you've seen at the end how they've used also fiber optics. Uh, uh, and, and, and respecting and understanding the relationship between the nature and what they were doing uh, as a very experiential, hands-on uh, project is very essential in the process of learning in itself. Then each student came up um, and, uh, you know, as a group, their little group that worked on the sculptures together, they came up and performed a little, you know, physical movement piece that they had worked on with Pamela. They presented their work to Professor Sneedlebaum going up on the stage and um, he would take measurements, he would comment on um, the work on how they, the hoodoos looked like hoodoos and you know, the, the different formations like the canyons, arches. Here at Ocean Avenue School, we have a lot of arts that um, come into the school and we go out to um, explore. Um, side by side, Ocean Avenue becoming a side by side school a couple years back has been phenomenal. That we have had um, visiting artists into our school every year for every grade level. So every child gets to work with a visiting artist every year and going deeper into their learning. So it could be about learning about immigration, it could be a social studies or a science project, uh, it could be a language arts project, uh, creating books, um, that kids get to explore that, they get to think about it, and they get to think about it through art so that they understand it at a deeper level. They get to um, translate it in for out for others so others can understand what they learned. The University of Papua New Guinea has always extended because of its geographical uh, location, uh, partnerships uh, throughout the world. And uh, we came to uh, talk uh, with the side-by-side -side, uh, on this landform project because I'm going to a geopolitical geo uh, conference in Toronto next week. And, uh, and as I needed some data uh, to collect, um, we had the idea of having some of the kids uh, collect the data and work on it so I could uh, illustrate my work with the work of students. Oh, it's like having a spoonful of sugar. A little art makes every, um, makes every subject fun. And you really can, art can totally be incorporated into every subject. Um, it just enhances it, it builds around it, it's creating a sculpture around the subject.